I know, know it's, it's not your strong suit, <laughs> but be reasonable for... <laughs> Damn it, Leonard! If we don't speak at the same time, <laughs> nobody can understand us! Sorry! <laughs> you, have you have no, no idea, idea what you're getting, getting into. Welcome back, the boys. The next episode is Celeste. Uh, I find it much easier to play with the D-pad than with the controller. Yeah, I've there. noticed that with games that are more like platform-centric. When you just deal with four directions, it's a lot easier to fuck with than like you know omnidirectional yeah which is weird because this game is so omnidirectional that you would want to use the analog well but... it's not omnidirectional it's eight directions it's like an old school game so it's not when i mean omnidirectional oh yeah i, mean, I, like I the, get what you're saying yeah the joystick or the control stick or whatever it moves in 360 directions because there's 360 degrees yeah I, I get what you're saying um what is this it's a headstone this memorial is dedicated to those who perished on the climb oh oh this is a grave you yeah, ah, shit. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Oh, it's a campfire. Yeah. Cute. Time to rest. This game is so adorable, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> Alright. Yep. This might have been a mistake. Pew! And look at the picture you get. I'll get a picture? Aww. Every chapter is over, you get a little picture. That is so cute. This yeah. game is fantastic. I kind of hate that I didn't support it whenever it first came out. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You're playing it now. That if people true. actually end up watching this Let's Play, we would have pushed it further. So, I mean, that is true. Yeah, I never I never really gave... Or I, I would say about five or six years ago, I never really gave indie games a chance because I just didn't see... Oh, yeah, you're at. oh, wow. I didn't really see myself as an look, indie look, games look, kind look, of person. It, Ooh. Ooh. Mm hmm Interesting. Anyway, sorry, I don't mean to keep that. Oh, you're off. good. No, yeah, like, I just didn't see myself as an indie games kind of person. But dash into it. Oh, it's not doing it yet. Hold on. Yeah, okay, keep going. Um, So I, I never really gave these kind of games my forethought, but I don't know what changed. I think I played something. I can't remember what I played, mm -hmm. but it really changed my perspective. I was like, wow, these games are Was it, was it Hollow Knight? It might have been. It might have been. Hollow Knight's fucking... Hollow crazy. Knight is one of my favorite indie games of all time. Yeah. It is fantastic. It's... I hate saying that phrase because everybody makes fun of it, but, like, it's legitimately, like, Dark Souls, but, like, a fucking... Well, like, game. and we've, we've... I've talked about this with a lot of different people. Like, everyone says it's the Dark Souls of blank because a lot of people don't play hard games. Yeah. And so Dark Souls was kind of the first... It's, it's kind of like um how people will say jaws is the first blockbuster yeah like it's not really but it was kind of the most popular yeah it's just like a huge it's like a huge example that everybody uses no exactly what. yeah hello you watch this look down so you gotta get down there oh okay there's a hidden strawberry down there mm -hmm. so let's see if there's a way to go down but yeah um so normally when people say like, oh, this game is the blank of whatever, it's because they have a, they have a, it's, it's common knowledge that that's a hard game. So people yeah. use it as like an easy, well, like people, people use it as an easy way to describe things. It's kind of like how, mm. like when you're describing, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Mike's a little bit. Hit the pot filter. But uh, it's kind of like how when people describe like games like, ooh, damn like spider-man or batman arkham any of the arkham games you're like oh it makes you feel like that person like it's an overused way to crit not critique but to explain Compare. yeah to, ex to explain something but it works in a sense that most people don't really know how to like articulate yeah not not just articulate Ooh. yeah oh. not just articulate but um oh oh hello there she goes. Do I go catch her? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look what happens. Ooh. Yeah, now dash through that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It'll continue your momentum no matter where you go from there. I saw a strawberry down here. I know I did. Mm -hmm. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, but every time something like that happens, the music changes, too. I forgot you can't go down bridges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in terms of that, like, normally people will go, Oh, this is the Dark Souls, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, you do that, you die. Ah. 
but um, it, it's mostly because they they lack the articulation to the script, things like that. People can't just say because like, Racevic has a really good video on his channel talking about subtlety and mechanics and gameplay, and why a lot of the games in like the early two thousands failed, even though they were really good games. He he said that like you can't put gameplay on a box. Yeah, you really can't. That... So describing it can be a little difficult. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, do that, and then you gotta do it really fast. Well, I think you gotta do it without hitting the ground. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, because every time you go through one of those, you get your jump back. You get your dash back, so you have to like. Well, it just came back. Yeah, watch. That's what I'm saying. Every time you come out of those, you get your dash back. So just keep dashing and don't stop. Oh. Yeah. Almost. There you go. Yeah, try Damn. try doing it upwards most of the time instead of sideways because you lose a lot of momentum that way. Man, this is tough. Yeah, you'll get it. Nah, you're just gonna lose them because you gotta. Yeah. Dashboard. But uh, speaking of Spider-Man, uh, that is not underrated, but try, man, try doing it from the top down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man is such a good game, dude. Like I, mm -hmm. I'm personally, I'm, I'm a fucking fanboy for Spider-Man, and I, I've never really been able to explain why. What was this? Thing? Hello. I just, really like, I just really like that sound effect. That's super cool. I think this game has some kick-ass fucking sound effects. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, like, is that a door? Mm -hmm. How do I, I don't know. Oh. I just thought, it, I never noticed that before. <laughs> you going to the, that's where the other strawberry is. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I've never been able to explain it. I, I never really, like, read comic, like, fucking Spider-Man comic books, and I was never, like, a huge Marvel fan whenever I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But I, I just love Spider-Man for some reason, and whenever that, shit! <laughs> whenever that game came out i got really fucking excited and i wasn't really i didn't have a reason why i just kind of was well i mean like at the time when we got batman yeah. arkham city for christmas we we weren't reading batman comics but we were still excited that is true yeah and and with Cause, batman because the process the prospect of a good game is more than just its source material like you get to you get to be excited because the gameplay is fun and also you enjoy the characters yeah, with, with Batman, um, I did actually read quite a bit of comics of Batman before we got that game. But it wasn't something like, you know, it wasn't, like, huge. I wasn't reading, like, every fucking comment, or every fucking comic right. that came out. It was just kind of like a novice thing. But, um, also, our dad was super into Batman. He loved all the, the, um... Michael Keaton Batman movies. He he didn't you know fucking love the Christian Bale movies, but he he watched them quite a bit. He he really liked The Dark Knight. He did, and that that's a, there's a good reason for that. Like Heath Ledger did a fantastic job in that movie, um, not just acting wise, just you know making that character his own. It it was more than acting. It was like him giving his own personal like fucking spirit into it. It was insane. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But you know I I hate that argument. Shit. I hate that argument where it's like, you know, who who is a better Joker? Cause like, I don't know, Heath Ledger and and Jack Nicholson are two different jokers to me. They're like they're not the same character in my mind. They're they're two different people. I think that Jack Nicholson Jesus fucking Christ. I think Jack Nicholson did a better Joker, but Heath Ledger gave a better performance. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, I, that's that's probably what I would say. That's usually what I've been saying, and then I just leave Jared Leto out of the conversation because I didn't like his representation. Yeah, so. not a lot of people did. Not but I don't think that was all the way... No, it, it was a lot his fault, but I felt like it was also the way they wrote him. Yeah. A, a lot of it was his fault, but there was some problems with the writing and the Like directing. hearing about the behind-the-scenes shit where he would, like, give his co-stars dead rats and use condoms and shit. It's like, okay, dude. You, like I understand like getting into it, but I don't know. It just seems like that that's a little too much. And plus, the Joker is like a psychotic character, but to a certain extent, there's some nuance to it. Like, yeah, it's not just he's pure not psychotic. Just, yeah, no, he's not just like crazy, crazy, crazy all the time. Like he's methodical and he thinks about what he does, or else he wouldn't be able to stand toe to toe. Like, I mean, it. I don't know. Just for me, it seems like he was doing the most. 
when you really didn't have to. Yeah, like he he was literally just trying to be psychotic when the Joker. Oh, yeah, still he was trying more. to be Heath Ledger's Joker when only you know. Heath Ledger can be Heath Ledger's Joker. Well, I was gonna say that, but I feel like there are some other actors that could have done Heath Ledger's Joker. I just think that if you're not that good of an actor, it's something you probably shouldn't. Oh, hello, Celeste, mm -hmm. <laughs> darling, darling, slow, slow down. down. We'll do we'll do both of her lines like, at the same time. Who said that? Oh, oh I'm, I'm simply a concerned, concerned observer. observer. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Are you me? No, dumbass. I'm, I'm part, part of you. you. Why would part of me look so creepy? Dot, dot, dot. This, this is, is just, just what, what I, I look, look like, like, okay? Deal, deal with, with it. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a shit. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget, forget about it. it. I, can't I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. head. But, but look, look, I'm, I'm worried about you. us. We, we need, need a, a hobby, hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You, you are many things, things darling, but, but you are not, not a mountain, mountain climber. climber. Who says I can't be? I, I know, know it's, it's not just... your strong suit, <laughs> but be reasonable for <laughs> Damn it, Leonard! If we don't speak at the same time, nobody can understand us! Sorry! <laughs> you, have you have no, no idea, idea what you're getting, getting into. into. I just think it sounds cool. You can't, you can't handle, handle this. this. You can't handle the truth. This is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? Both. I'm, I'm the, the pragmatic, pragmatic part. part. And, and I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to be diplomatic be... here. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go home, home together. together. You see how our portrait's like coming out of the thing? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if she catches you, you die. Yeah. But she mirrors everything you do. So watch, she'll take the exact same path you take. Oh, nice. Good job. Fuck! Damn, that one little bit. But you got the strawberry, though, so you don't have to worry about that again. This music is fantastic. Oh, it's fucking phenomenal. Like, this this whole game is, like, one of the most perfect packages you can get in a video game. Shit. Damn, you do that every time. Just go straight up. But there's spikes there. It's not gonna kill you. It's only gonna kill you if you go back down. Oh, okay. Yeah, silly. Spikes only hurt if you fall on them, not through them. Yeah, okay. That's totally ha Fuck! Get fucked. Drink? Oh, I was gonna I'm ask you. Winning. Now that we're sort of finally past a big chapter in our life, um, we're. We finally said goodbye to a job that we... How long have you been at it? Uh, it was a year back in February, maybe like 6th or 7th. Okay, and I was coming up on like two and a half years. So we both said the goodbye to a job that we had been in invested in for a really long time. Um, and I was going to ask you, what what's some of your... Oh. What's some of your least favorite customer interactions? Um... Oh, I've got one. Uh, so, back whenever I first started, mm -hmm. um, okay, there we go. Nice. Back whenever I first started, um, we had gotten really, really busy because there was a, a thing called a parking lot sale. Yeah. And it's it's where everything is on, almost everything is on sale. Basically. Yeah, yeah and it's. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus. No, you're good. Just just talk whenever you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Parking lot sales, basically where we put everything in the store on sale, and we put it out in the parking lot for people to come in and get it. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, but yeah, it was a parking lot sale, and we were super backed up, and I wasn't used to it, because before this job, I had worked at a Wendy's, mm -hmm. and we didn't necessarily, you know, get busy, but we, you know, we got kind of... Lunch rush. Yeah, exactly. Um... But that was something completely different. I wasn't used to it. And I was I was the slowest one on the cashier. And I was trying to hurry and rush. But there was this douchebag guy. At, like, he was basically next in my line. But for some reason, he was yelling and screaming at me and all my co-workers co at the uh, cash register. And 
you know, he was saying shit like, uh, he was like, is this how this company really trains? <laughs> is this how this company <laughs> treats your, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Is, is this how this Good company focus. really, like, trains their cashiers and employees? Like, this is pitiful, this is fucking ridiculous. And, you know, uh, one of our managers was standing behind me, kind of making sure I was doing everything okay. I don't know how to get out of here. Fuck. Death. Um, and, and she's standing behind me. Fuck. <laughs> this is you hard. want me to play this part? I got it. All right. Um, and then she, you know she's she's just like doing doing overrides and stuff like that to make sure I, I'm not fucking up. Mm -hmm. Shit. And then this guy gets up to my line and he slams his shit on my counter. And whenever he does that, he he's like he's just fucking pissed for no reason. And and he demands a twenty percent off. And whenever he does. I look back at my manager, and she's like, "What are you doing? I don't know. You have to go to that. What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to focus so hard. I know. And I was like, what, you've been doing so good so far. <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, she was just like, um, we're not supposed to, but go ahead and give him the twenty percent because he's being an asshole. And I was like, okay. And as soon as I did, you know, he he picks up all his shit and starts fucking banging around like, bruh, bruh, bruh. And, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the customer behind him is like, hey man, you did a really good job. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy that you, you know, you didn't freak out or like blow up. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just not that kind of person. And he's like, that's good. That's good. Like, you know, it's, it's a good way to keep your job. And I was like, yeah. And fuck. Turns out he was a, uh, a manager for a different store. He had come to ours to, he was buying something i don't i can't remember what he was buying but he was buying something and he went to go talk to one of our managers i, I didn't get a promotion or anything but you know they all like congratulated me and shit and since i was brand new i was like oh i'm special i'm special mm -hmm. but that that was a it was a good and a bad memory all in one mm -hmm. which you know i enjoyed but at the same time i was like Ooh, that was a, a fucking a, stupid ass a day phone call oh pick it up celeste celeste <laughs> What about you? What's uh? What's Hello. A... Oh, oh. <laughs> Celesbed? Celesbed? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No. Wait. You called me. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I've been chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Celesbed, you only <laughs> call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh, it's Elrin. Calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. <clears throat> Climbing Celeste Mountain, I found this old mirror and it shattered and part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Celeste, of course you're dreaming. You haven't, I haven't spoken to you in months. Oh. Why would I start? Oh. Ouch. Ugh. Why am I even climbing the student, stupid mountain? The Stupid. Oh, shit. Jump scare. I'm, I'm wondering, wondering the, the same, same thing. thing. It's, it's time, time to, to give up and go, go home. <laughs> you're good. Thank you. Oh, shit. Ah, he's scared. Oh. And you're dead. Ouch. Got the phone sticking out. He ate the whole payphone. Yeah, and you. Alright, I think that's a good place we can stop for now. Yes. That's a good uh no, just You're gonna complete a whole nother level. Secrets. Yeah, you just inadvertently found one of the big secrets of the game. Well, I or guess maybe we're gonna stick around and see this. I already knew it. Did you? No, I didn't actually. Okay. <laughs> oh is. wait. Oh, oh wait. wait. How do I... How do I... How do I get in there? Let's see. There's a dusty old book open to on the table. A poem written on the faded page. An apparition, not of this world, but because of it, lurking out of frame. Awake, my heart, is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. Yay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How do I get in? I don't know. 
You've already beaten the game. Tell me. These aren't. These are so far from being mandatory. It's not even funny. There are seven of these in the whole game, and four of them unlock the final level. Oh. Um, so I got, I got four completely different ones because I don't know how to get that one. We. She hits the. Ah oh, fuck! <laughs> All right. All right, that'll be it for this episode. Good place to stop. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.